Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today we're gonna to be working on choosing color and creating swatches inside of Adobe InDesign. So let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this text and if you come up here to the text options, this, this will come up when you have your text highlighted um, and you click on this little arrow here, it's gonna give you a selection. These are default colors, the regular paper, which is white, black, the registration marks and then you have all of these right here this right here is not a color that you can edit so it, if it's in the brackets here like this you cannot edit that color uh, these ones you can edit so you can just double click here and then it'll bring up this swatch options menu so you can see now that we've changed the color I'm going to take that back to black Another way to modify your colors is to use this color option right here. If you go to Windows and then Color and then choose Color, that's going to come up for you. And when you have this text box selected, what you're going to see here is this uh, color spectrum down here. Now if you choose higher up, you're going to get lighter colors. If you choose lower down, you're going to get darker colors. You can kind of see how that works by what I'm doing here. And you're just using the color spectrum and the eyedropper tool to choose and mix colors. And then here at the end, you have white and you have black. And then you have no color here. So say I like this color and I want to use it in my document. I can save it to my selections here so I have I have these defaults but I can add to that as well so what I'm gonna do is choose that color and then I'm gonna come over here to this little hamburger menu and I'm gonna click on add to swatches so now I've just added that color to the swatches as well just double click on this right here and it's gonna open up the color picker options I can choose other colors here and say I like this plum color and I want to add that I can add that really quickly just by clicking on add cmyk and it's going to give me the hex color code the cmyk value the rgb value and the lab value as well i'm going to click ok now if i come over to my colors here you can see that i've added that that seafoam green color and then this plum color as well so i'm going to press the shift key and I'm gonna select both of those i'm going to right click and then i'm going to add those to a new color group i want to keep my colors organized and I want to keep them separate from the default color. So now if I come back here, I have my document colors, this little hello section right here. I can come in here and say I want this block. I'm going to hold the shift key just to select the ones I want. But I want this block, this block, and this block to be the seafoam green color. And then I want this block and this block to be that plum color. So I can easily do that. So this is one way to work with colors inside of Adobe InDesign. Another way to quickly create my uh, color palettes is just to come in here to the colors. So I can just double click here and that is also going to bring up the color picker menu. The reason I love using the color picker menu versus the spectrum that you get here on the side is because you have finer detail with the color selection so you can come in here and easily choose the exact color that you want another added benefit for the color picker is of course that you do get all of these different values for the color and you can just add your hex color in here also if you have your color picker open and you have a color here on your document that you want to use then you can just come and grab the eyedropper tool here right next to the hex code and then just hold it down and drag it across your image and it's going to give you those colors as well so i'm going to choose this color um, and it's going to give me the exact value here and i can add it to my colors so if i add something new it's going to be in that color and the same thing goes for the outline tool so you have the outline I'm gonna double click it and I want the outline to, for this to be this plum color I'm gonna choose that click OK now it's loaded it with that plum color and I'm gonna bring up so you can see now that I've added that outline color and then the solid uh, color on the inside just from using the color picker tool 
here on the canvas. Now another way to change colors on the document is to use the eyedropper tool. So if you have all of the colors on your document that you're going to use, say you have your swatch panel or something, or you have an image here that you're going to uh, use to sample colors, then you can come over to the eyedropper tool and then you can sample a color and it's going to change whatever selected to that color. So if you're having trouble choosing a color palette or you just don't know uh, what colors go with what, you can also use Adobe Color Themes to help you out there too. So if you come up to Window and you go to Color and then you choose Adobe Color Themes, you're going to get this window that pops up and I love this tool. This is an awesome tool for finding a color palette that's perfect for your design. You can use the color wheel, which is what I typically use, um, but you can also use sliders to gather your colors as well. I'm working in creating my own color palette and uh, I like to use the color rules for this. So this is gonna give you, and make sure that you're working on your base color. Uh, if you move one of these, you can move it out up here and it's going to give you uh, something that is much different. So try to keep it here with your base color and then move it around until you find something that you like. You can also choose monochromatic colors. Uh, and then you have the triad. If you've watched my video about color theory, then you'll know a little bit about this. But this is just a way to select color that's going to give you colors that complement each other very well. The next one is complementary colors using colors on the opposite side of the color spectrum. The theory is that uh, opposite colors uh, will complement each other very well. And then you have compound colors. This is an, similar to complementary colors, but with this one, they're giving you uh, the opposite colors on their color wheel, and then they're giving you slightly lighter, darker shades of that same color. And then uh, shades, this is just one color and all the various shades of it. So shades is basically adding a little bit of black to the color that you've chosen. If I've decided that I want to go with this, these colors specifically, and I'm going to use those in my design, then I can easily add those to my swatches just by clicking here, add to swatch. And then if you come up here, you're going to see my color theme and it's gonna have those colors in there. So you can change the name of your color theme as well. Now I have the original hello document and then I have this new hello document right here. You can also come over to explore on Adobe Color Themes and they have tons of different color palettes that were created by other people and you can scroll through these and check out the different color palettes and then here in my themes these are uh, color themes that you've actually saved to your cc library i haven't saved any adobe color themes uh, but if i had they would be here as well now I want to show you a different way of, of creating a color swatch based on an image. So say you have a, a particular image that you're using in your design and you want to base your colors off of that image. You can easily do that here in InDesign. I'm going to show you really quickly. So I've set up this file right here. And these are just basic shapes down here at the bottom. And I have an image placeholder here. Uh, what I'm going to do is add my image. So I'm going to go to File, Place. I'm just going to grab an image, open it in here. I want to fit it in here. So I'm going to fit it just so we can see it and maybe move it down a bit. Okay, so once I have all of the colors that I want to use in this document, I can come over to this eyedropper tool and I'm going to hold down and choose the Color Theme tool. And what that did was automatically give me a color palette based on this image. So I can use this color palette. So say I want to use this color here. Um, and then I can just assign colors like this. It's really easy. 
That way I have a color palette down here that I can use inside of my design. If I want to add these colors to text or other shapes and objects inside of my document, I can do that. I can also save a variation of this. I can uh, pop colors in directly from this swatch or I can save this right here. So if I click on this right here, by clicking that I just added these colors to my swatches. So if I come up to colors and you see this color theme right here, that's going to hold all of the colors. And of course, again, I can change the name here and all of my colors are in here. Now something to keep in mind with all of these uh, when, I've, when I'm saving the swatches like this, it is only going to save these color swatches for the document that I'm working in. So I just created that. Notice that here I had saved these two hellos. So these color palettes are not available in the other document that I just, uh, that I was just working in. And this color swatch is not available in here either. So I'd have to actually have this document open and then choose save the color palette. Now it's in here, but it's not going to do that unless you're actually in the document. So here, if I come back here again, I'll show you. Um, I have the flowers theme, but the other two um, hello themes that I created or uh, hello color palettes that I created are not going to be inside this document. If I want this color palette to be universally available for me, I have to add it to my cloud. And I can do that right here just by clicking on that. Now I've added um, this to my CC libraries. So if I come into this uh, file or this document right here, then I have this available to me and I can use it. Now I had added this earlier here. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Uh, but say I just opened this document and I decided that I want to go with this color theme instead. If I come over to my CC libraries and I right click and I can click on add theme to swatches, I can add individual colors as well. But if I want to add this entire theme to the swatches, I can do that right there. And now I have all of these colors available to me change colors here very easily. Okay, and now that I have this in my in my CC library, I can actually come up to Window, Color, Adobe Color Themes, and if I go to My Themes, you'll see that that's popped up right there. Use it from there, or you can just um, access it directly from your CC libraries as well. So that was using a color and creating color swatches inside of Adobe InDesign. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, and of course go over to prettywebs.com for more tutorials and graphic design resources for your online business. Until next time, thanks for watching.